Hello and welcome back to the Reality Check VR video. Hello and welcome back to another Reality Check VR video. Today we're going to be unboxing a mobile VR headset and uh, it's kind of a combination kit here. The best one that you can actually use in my opinion. Uh, at least that's until the Oculus Go comes out, but that's not out yet. That's not out yet. So until then, this is really the best that there is. It was overnighted. I don't actually get to keep this. It's only mine for a couple days to review and kind of check it out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be really careful about how I unbox the seal. Yeah? What better way to open the box than with a 3D printer? So if you're wondering, what is Caleb's favorite mobile VR setup? Well, I'll tell you. Using the AKG Bluetooth headphones with, of course, the Harman drivers. You've got those right there. The Gear VR powered by Oculus and the controller, which allows you to actually move the controller in 3D motion, allowing you, know, allowing you to play games like Wands, and, and they've even got like a, a Dead for Buried, and, and several hundreds of games at this point. So lastly, to power this device, the best mobile phone that you can have, and this is my honest opinion that you can possibly have for this, is going to be the Samsung whoo, Note 8. And uh, like I said, this is a review phone, so it's got a number on there. Uh, this is not mine to keep, but I do get to give an honest review of what I think about the phone, of course in combination with the headset and the headphones. This is, from my experience, even an OC4, they had a lot of these units around. It's really a great, fantastic VR experience. What's best about it is that you can actually walk around and show your friends because you don't have to be at your house, you don't have to have a PC to use this setup. So uh, with this uh, phone right here, like I said, you can put it right in this headset and in combination these three guys are going to be a lot of fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unbox them, I'm going to put them together and we're going to have some fun with it. Okay, so if you're asking why is this the best setup, why is the Gear VR better than any mobile, uh, you know, any other mobile VR out there? And, and, and the best thing to say is the simple fact is the resolution along with the frame rate. I mean you can have a lot of Google Cardboard devices, but using any phone and a cardboard together and getting a slow frame rate or anything that's not fluid is really going to mess with your eyes or your head over time and sometimes it gives people headaches and that can be a big problem. There are other devices out there such as Google Daydream and that is a good product. It actually does have a nice smooth uh, frame rate. I've actually never experienced it myself but I've seen other reviews and I do know that it is a good one. Uh, in my experience though because of the Oculus Store and what that brings with this, that makes this so much better. In the sense that you can actually be playing games like Alt Space VR, you can be playing uh, different games out there, and you can actually be talking to your friends. You can be playing Wands, for example, and actually be talking to people on different systems at the same time, which is uh, an extremely fun thing to do. I personally love the AKG brand, and of course the Harman drivers in there, is, is, as far as audio files are concerned, it's one of the best out there. Uh, plus, the new version of the Gear VR is something I've actually never tried before. I do have the old Old Gear VR as well. Let me go grab that real quick. Alright, so as you can see here, yeah, I do have the original Gear VR with some VR covers on there. And uh, this thing was uh, actually, it's not, it's not the very original. There was the dev kit, which I don't have. Uh, VR Gamer Dude had that one, which I tried. But this is the first consumer version that came out with phones. And, and a lot of people got them, but they never used them, which is a big mistake because there was a lot of fun to be had using this model. This, of course, is the new model, and it comes with the controller. I bought the controller separately. Unfortunately, I never actually got to do my review with the controller because my Note 5 uh, ended up dying while I was on my uh, travels in Russia. It uh, met its demise. So anyway, I do not have a, a phone that can actually power this anymore, so I just kind of have this here sitting. And, and anyway, this is the first time I've gotten a chance to try the new setup, and of course the best phone that I could possibly ask for would be the Samsung Note 8. So we're going to go ahead and open this guy up right now, first of all. Boom. It's huge. It's a huge, beautiful phone, and there's no buttons on the front. You guys have probably seen the unboxings before, but this phone is definitely formidable. It feels very nice, and it looks very nice, so uh, that's certainly a really, really cool device right there. It feels very heavy, very weighty as soon as you pull it out, 
And is this a stylus down there? That's right. I love the fact that these have the little stylus built into the bottom piece of it. So uh, my old Samsung had this. Uh, let me grab that real, real quick as well. All right, real quick, since we've got the Samsung out, I do just want to compare the phone sizes with the, uh, with the old Samsung Note 5. This is uh, my broken one. It is actually right there. It seems to be a little bit wider because the frame doesn't have that curve back, as well as it is definitely shorter in the, the whole spectrum of things. This one has a larger screen overall, which is why that is the case. So yeah, side by side, they are definitely uh, similar devices in weight and in style, but this one is superior, most definitely. Um, this guy, I feel bad, I can't use it anymore. It used to be uh, my old Oculus phone, so this one is no longer working. Um, also, if you wanted to see like the old iPhone 5, for example, the old iPhone 5 compared to a Samsung Note, uh, it's crazy how much the screen difference is, has changed in just a few different years. This used to seem big at the time. Um, of course, there are other Chinese phones out there that are very similar. The Note 8 compared to the Zook, yep, the Zook is uh, definitely much thicker and much smaller. We've got this also that we can compare it to the Vermi. The Vermi is actually supposed to be one of the new flagship phones for China, and uh, this phone is actually a really awesome phone. The problem is it does not work here in America. It does work great in Europe, though. Uh, we've also got like the, the L Phone S7, you know? So the L Phone S7 is a similar device, but as you can see, it is also very short. It is on the same spectrum as like the, the Note 5 right there. But these ones, of course, both have put broken screens. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and turn this guy on and see if we can't get Oculus downloaded on here so we can get some games started up. All right, so while this guy starts up, we're gonna go over here and open up our headphones real quick. Cool design, man. Yeah. So this really is like a brand new phone. I have to actually start it from scratch. It's gonna be fun. These will be simple enough to pair once we get the phone started. So while the phone's being activated, we're gonna open up the Gear VR with the controller. Cinematic wide view, immersive 360 experience, controller to point and interact in VR. Hundreds of VR apps and games. Yeah, that's right. Whoa, whoa guys. It's a little beefier than before. It's actually beefier. And you can see over here on the side, this one only has one button. Over here you've got a home button and a back button. And the trackpad has been kind of replaced. This one kind of actually had little spots. This one literally just has uh, one whole flat section that you can move your finger around. So that's changed a little bit. Also, this uh, this cover has uh, now been added, I guess, instead of the phone. So you don't actually put a cover on top of the phone anymore. The side has been the same. Still have the same uh, same logo as before. Inside is a uh, very similar. The only difference on the inside of this seems to be that this one has a, a little bit different of a vent design. It's got three little holes as opposed to just the one hole that the previous version had. So uh, it looks to be designed a little bit differently. It's a very similar device. So this is what I'm going to pull out instead of the phone. You could use old phones such as the Note 5 I believe would also work in here, but we're going to go ahead and use the Note 8. Oh yeah, but before we go ahead and get that started, we do need to open up the controller. It does come with two triple a battery, We've got a strap, another strap, and here is the little controller. It's pretty tiny. Um, what's nice though is it does fit in your hand nice and easy. You can, uh, got a little trigger finger right there for your gun. You've also got a little touchpad type piece here. If you're uh, familiar with the HTC Vive, you've definitely used one of these before. Um, so this is kind of the new design going out, and it's kind of cool. So volume button, back button, home button, there you go. So Samsung little controller, plus it is actually Bluetooth activated, so when you're moving it around, you are going to see that in your headset, which is going to be awesome. As soon as I put the batteries in, I can see the controller is actually working. To protect my phone, I can set up either the fingerprint scanner, the iris scanner, a pin, or face recognition. So you can actually do a, an iris scanner, which is pretty insane. I'm going to go ahead and do the face recognition because we've heard so much about that. Disclaimer, before using facial unlock, remember that somebody can unlock your phone that looks like you. Um, someone or something that looks like your image could possibly unlock the phone. Face recognition is less secure than pattern, pin, or password. That's right. Your face has been registered. As soon as I basically hit this button, tap, tap, as soon as I tap it, it, see, it, yeah, it, it sees my face and it instantly opens up and is ready to go. So what happens if I don't actually have my face, if I just sit there and I don't look at it, it doesn't open. But what's cool is at any point in time, 
can open it up and you can look at it and it opens up, boom, unlocked. That is really cool actually. Facial recognition is the future. Okay, so we've got Oculus installed on the Note 8 now, and of course if you have any trouble getting that started, or if you can't find it on your phone, simply plugging it in and actually putting it on the device usually almost always starts up Oculus on your Samsung device. Uh, it's now asking me to pair the controller, so I've inserted the batteries already. I'm going to go ahead and hold the home button on here as it tells me to do, which allows this to start lighting up, and now I'm going to hit that pair button. So this should actually get the two devices to pair to each other. It says I need to do a firmware update and it has paired it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the update button and now it is updating this little controller's firmware. This phone is just beautiful. I really wish I had one for myself. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I do not own this phone right here, uh, but it, it is a beauty. I'm afraid of course to, to, to take it out and about because I don't wanna break it. Uh, but it feels very rugged, it feels very strong, it, it, it's just a very nice phone. I, I genuinely like the Notes a lot. I really liked my Note 5 for as long as I did have it. Uh, okay, so this thing is just about done. We're here hitting 100% and we're going to be done with the firmware upgrade. Next, we're going to jump into the apps and, and, and I guess one of the first things we're going to have to download, one of the first things we're going to have to experience is, is the new Asteroids. If you guys haven't seen by Baobab, uh, we've got Asteroids, which is really, really cool. I had a lot of fun playing their previous experiences. If you never saw, uh, they had one called Invasion and they've done several other things uh, related to the VR industry. And, and this new one is supposed to be a lot of fun. Let's calibrate your controller for optimal VR experience. Okay, draw a figure eight. All right, place your controller face down on a flat surface like this for a few seconds. Choose which hand you'd rather have your controller in. Change it at any time. Okay, there, this thing is paired and ready to go. Cool, simple as that. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump in here. Okay, so we're gonna be playing Asteroids for the Samsung Gear VR. I heard it's one of the coolest experiences that has just come out recently. It was a Sundance Festival award winner, which makes it, you know, pretty cool and, uh, you know, <laughs> that's awesome. What makes this really cool is not only is it entertainment, but it's interactive entertainment in that you actually get to watch something and you get to, you know, ex experience like a movie-like situation, but you're a part of it. I mean, kind of like the Coco experience we did with Disney, a little bit like some, some other things you've done in the past. Uh, even in Invasion, you actually got to be somewhat of a, a, a part of the audience and that they looked at you and they kind of interacted with you, but this one goes a step further from what I hear. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into it right now. It's got 4.0 stars on there, which is pretty great. It's under a gigabyte. It's just about 735 megabytes to play it. And, and anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started with this. I'm very excited to play it. Uh, wish me luck. I've seen a 360 video that I can actually interact inside of, so... 